I'm going to fix my mouse. As you can see, I've already pulled it apart. I already spent about five minutes figuring out how to put the scroll back together because it fell apart when I dismantled it and I didn't have a notice, well, I didn't notice how it actually went together. <laughs> so, figured that out eventually. But, um, this, of course, it's got the little indent thing here for the detents when you scroll it. Anyway, the spring part was easy, but the other part was not so much. Anyway, that's figured out. The problem I've got is when I push the left mouse button, which is this one here, possibly this one here, um, sometimes it will double click and it's been driving me nuts because I've been trying to like drag things or just highlight something and double clicks and opens it instead. been a real pain. So I thought well, I've had enough of this so I'm going to pull it apart and have a look. So let's do a close look at the circuit board. So you go, it's about as close as I can get to it. It might be in and out of focus as I move around. Let's have a close look. So this the button I'm talking about is up this one here. Yeah. Those three pins. Uh, I'm just uh, trying to see if I can see any crack joints on there. Uh, it does look like there might be something actually. That square pad looks like it might have a crack around it. In the solder joint, just very slight, maybe. Maybe. Can you see it just there? That shows up quite well actually, see that? I think it's cracked. Quite possible, so I think I'll resolder the joints on this on these switches and uh, chuck some cleaner into it as well while I'm at it and see if that solves the problem. All right, so start by resoldering. I'm going to use some of my decent solder for this. Why not? So let's just resolder it and see if this does anything. Um, I say this is all I'm going to do is going to resolder it and put some IPA into the switch. Just feed it in from the top and see if that does anything. I've been using this mouse now for a couple of years. It's been a good mouse. I actually quite like it. It's a very basic, cheap mouse, but it's good. You don't need all this bloody gaming mouse rubbish. It's been, you know, why spend five times as much on a mouse to do the same thing? I don't know. Anyway, all these buttons you're probably never going to use anyway. So I thought, oh. Might as well this side as well when I'm at it. As soon as I do right click as well. Right. So I'm just going to use some IPA for my bottle here and I'm just going to pour that in. Just on both of those switches. Let it run in. Activate it a bit, try and get it in the switches. Whether it or not it actually flows around, I don't know. We'll find out I suppose. I don't think I can get in there any better than that apart from pulling the switches themselves apart. I don't really want to do that. I now I don't have any spare switches for these either, so definitely not going to be pulling these apart. It's only like a twenty dollar mouse, something like might, might even have it. Might even have it actually might be fifteen dollars or not. Oh, they're cheap. So a bit of cleaner in there, and resolder the pads. That means my chances are going to be reasonable that it's actually going to work now with a bit of luck. The middle button should be fine because I must never use that button <laughs> so not likely to be an issue on that one. So yeah, that will probably be it. I might give this sensor a bit of a clean as well just make sure there's no residue on there and put it back together. Alright, let's get that cleaned up. Let's put this thing back in the case. I do like the design on this. It's actually really simple. It's well designed. I like it a lot. It's actually really good. So that actually comes out this way. That's the back. So that sits in like that to fit the scroll back in. So I'm going to show you the scroll wall assembly in case you ever get one of these and you don't actually notice how it goes together. It took me a little while to figure it out. So there's a little side there. So you've got the main post there. The wheel is on. Unfortunately the lighting's a bit dim here. Um, let's pull this off. So there's the inside the wheel. This there. And that post goes inside the hole on this side, which is also out of focus, of course. There we go. Maybe you can see it. So that the lighting's not doing me any favours, especially if you can scroll in, uh, zoom in on this. So yeah, that's how it fits is on there. It's got like a little channel, you can just see it there. It sits in that. In case you ever have one of these things, then it falls apart on you. And then, of course, we have the spring to put on as well. That just slips over here, that side. And that'll drop in. Alright, so let's fit this in place. It's got like a little slot in there it drops into. And then it's got the spring will go into these slots. 
on this piece here as well to line it up and hopefully it all goes come on let's spin the springs in the right place let's get seated correctly there we go that's in there all right so that'll just now sit like that and it all clicks like it's supposed to and this side's all fine it's not really dirty or anything like that so it's only got one screw holds it together it sort of hooks in at the front and one screw holds at the back it's quite a nice design None of this hidden screw rubbish underneath the the pads on the bottom or anything like that. So let's just try and wiggle this on. There we go. That's on there. Let's put the screw back in again. And hopefully it works. And then we're double clicking. Well, I hope so. I guess I'll find out soon. I'm going to call that a successful repair anyway, because it probably will be. Thanks for watching, catch you later, hope you found that little repair helpful. Bye. So thank you very much to my Patreon supporters. If you're interested in supporting me to help me buy items for mailbag or projects to work on, you know, bits of test equipment to repair, that kind of thing, any money that goes, goes towards that is helpful because it is expensive buying test equipment to do repairs on, especially if I'm not actually going to be using it that much or it's something I could do without. Or, you know, as in most cases, you can do without things. So having a Patreon supporters and people that donate to me via PayPal is, is very helpful. So if you're interested in helping support me and um, you know contribute to the channel, then please check out my Patreon page down in the description down there. Click on the Show More tab, this is down there. So um, thank you very much for not supporting me. I enjoy making videos, enjoy showing what I'm playing around with. It was just originally I was going to video bits of what I'm doing at the time. I was, you know, if I'm working on something, I'll do a video of that and slap it up, which was going to be rather random and erratic. And I've ended up basically turning my life into doing YouTube videos and buying things and trying to create content to keep you guys entertained. Yeah, if you want to support me, that's great. Because um, that would certainly be appreciated because this is an expensive hobby. Catch you later. Thanks for watching. Click the bell icon. Bye. So I've got hundreds and hundreds of videos. So if you haven't seen my previous stuff then make sure you go and look. I've got hundreds of them. So go and check them out. I've seen a variety there. Go yeah, back and look at the back catalogue. Pages and pages of them. Pages of playlists as well. All these things too. Loads of them. Go and check them out. Make sure you go and watch more stuff. Watch more. Watch more. Watch more. I'm going to fix this Logitech. Uh.